Hi, this is Dina with Digital Hot Cakes, and I'm in Pro Show Producer, and we are going to create a July 4th celebration slide, and I'm using a couple of animations off of Home Movie Essentials Volume Number 2, specifically the Cookout Smoke and the July 4th Flag. And I'm using the widescreen, and for your Cookout Smoke animation, you're also going to need that corresponding mask. Let's begin by setting up our slideshow for widescreen. We do that under Show Options, Show Settings, and just make sure the aspect ratio is set to widescreen. And also under Edit, Preferences, just make sure our default image settings are set to fill frame. And we'll begin by dragging the July 4th flag widescreen and AVI down into slide number one and we'll double click to open the slide options and here under layer settings under the aspect you can see that it says auto we actually need to change that to 16 by 9 we've set our show settings to widescreen but ProShow doesn't always recognize imported video as being 16 by 9 so we always need to make sure that 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 right there is not on auto that it's on 16 by 9 okay now let's bring in our cookout smoke animation we'll add a layer grab that and again over here we need to set the aspect to 16 by 9 okay and this cookout smoke is an overlay so we need to bring in its corresponding mask so let's add a masking layer and I have my mask in a separate folder because it has the same name as the animation let's bring that in and once again go over to aspect and set that to 16 by 9 Okay, now this grill is going to open, and we want the July 4th flag anim animation to begin after the grill opens. So let's set that timing for that July 4th flag animation. We'll go under Effects, Motion Effects. We have that layer selected. Let's go ahead and click on right-click on keyframe number one. Set time for this keyframe, and we're going to set that. We're going to set that to three seconds had to remember there okay all right now let's add our caption we'll go under caption caption settings and we'll type our caption July 4th 2011 okay and we're going to set this for a fade in up here under text effects fly in we'll set it for a fade in and we also need to set the timing for the for the caption we don't want it to appear at the beginning of the slide so let's go under caption motion we'll right click on on keyframe number one and we'll set this for five seconds and we'll click OK and let's see what we have 